safe food service depends on taking care and paying attention to every detail. It's the details that count, and when a meal is served, regardless of whether we work in a five-star restaurant or a cafeteria, our customers expect clean, sparkling tableware. But there's a lot more than appearance at stake. There is the health and well-being of our customers. Food poisoning and foodborne illness are a growing problem in this fast-moving world and we all have a part to play in breaking the chain of events which can result in an outbreak of food poisoning. The germs that spread disease are far too small to be seen by the naked eye, but here they are, enlarged a thousand times, made visible by the microscope. They can be lurking anywhere in our kitchen, between the tines of this fork, on this plate, this glass, waiting for the opportunity to infect an unsuspecting victim. And it's up to us to protect our customers and our fellow workers. There are many links in the chain of infection and the dishwashing machine is a vital element in preventing the spread of disease. Why? Well, Every piece of tableware passes through our machine, and a well-operated machine plays an important part in breaking the chain which can lead to food poisoning. So, a well-run dishwasher makes us look good by delivering sparkling tableware, and at the same time keeps our customers safe and coming back for more. There are many types of dishwashing machines. Small, single tank, multi-tank, and flight. But they all work on the same principle, and operating any of them requires similar knowledge and expertise. The dishwashing machine uses a combination of hot detergent solution and very hot fresh rinse water to both clean and disinfect the ware that is washed. Successful machine operation depends on being organized at every stage of the operation. Before startup, we check the work area. Clean floors reduce the risk of slipping, and clean work surfaces and tabling set the standard. A clean empty waste bin or waste disposal unit for the food scraps is essential. Check the machine. The last shift should have left it clean and drained down. Have a look inside. Are the wash and rinse jets in position and free from obstructions? Is the tank empty and clean? If so, position the scrap trays. These help to keep the water in the tanks clean and prevent pieces of food blocking the jets and pump. Install the curtains, which should have been cleaned and left out to air dry. Make sure the curtains are in good condition. They may be numbered, but as a general guide, long curtains at the entry and exit, short curtains between the sections inside. In many cases, switching on the machine will automatically start the fill and heating sequence. For manually filled machines, close the drain valves, open the water valve. While the machine is heating up, check the detergent and rinse aid. In this type of machine, the detergent is automatically fed into the wash tank and the rinse aid is automatically injected into the final rinse to help sheet the rinse water off the ware, accelerating spot-free drying. Follow the operating instructions for the feed and control equipment installed. The alarm on the feeder equipment will be on if product needs replacing. Remember, wear the appropriate protective equipment. In the case of very small machines, the detergent may be added to the integral feeders or manually dosed into the tank. One, work area clean and tidy. Two, machine tanks empty and interior clean. Three, wash jets clear and in position. Four, scrap trays in. Five, Curtains in the correct positions. 6. Check the detergent and rinse aid. Replace empties. 7. 
Switch on the machine. While the machine heats up, we prepare the work area. As the serving staff bring in the soiled tableware, we need it to be easily loaded for washing. Certainly not delivered like this. Set out a sample of each of the tableware in use. These will act as decoys for the servers to locate the soiled ware. It avoids mixing and makes our job much easier. Set out the specially designed racks for glasses and cups. Organisation is vital here to avoid the breakages which are sure to occur if tableware is just left in disorganised heaps. By now, the tanks should be up to temperature. Turn on the pumps and check the temperature gauges. Correct temperatures play an essential part in both cleaning and disinfecting the wear and we must check them regularly. The pre-wash temperature should be between 40 and 50 degrees centigrade. The wash temperature between 55 and 65 degrees and the rinse 80 to 90 degrees. Check these regularly. If there's a persistent drop in temperature in any section, we contact our supervisor as the machine will be operating below the ideal levels to deliver good results. We're ready for liftoff. The servers will place the wear on the decoys so that we can organize the racking efficiently. Remove any food scraps and load into the racks. Correct loading of the racks is essential to achieve the best results. Never rack like this with mixed sizes, flatware and hollowware together because this will be the result. Correct racking must be carried out so that the detergent solution in the machine can contact every surface. Rack similar sizes together. When washing flatware, make sure the rack is the right way round, like this. A rinse with the manual sprayer and the rack is slid into the machine. Don't force the rack in, let the machine take it in automatically. Glasses and cups loaded into the specially designed racks. With single tank machines, place the rack into the cabinet, close the door and initiate the cycle. In many models, closing the door will automatically start the cycle. For flight machines, the wear is loaded directly onto the conveyor. At the rinse end of the machine, we let the racks run out and use the full length of the tabling. This will ensure that the wear has time to air dry, never towel dry. Inspect the results and reject any items which are not completely clean. Lots of rejects mean something is wrong. Check the machine to make sure that everything is running correctly. Wear clean gloves when unloading the racks. Handle cleaned wear by the edges. And, wherever possible, store hollow wear in the wash racks. This avoids any further handling. If you are working alone, wash your hands and gloves between loading and unloading. If cutlery requires pre-treatment, prepare a solution of the appropriate pre-soaked product. Never use manual washing products, as they will create excessive foam in the machine. Remove from the pre-soak and load into the cutlery baskets, business end up, thoroughly mixing to avoid nesting. Never just load cutlery into open racks like this, it will not be cleaned. Pre-rinse and run through the machine. Inspect and transfer to the storage racks, business end down. Do not towel dry. One, check the temperatures. Pre-wash, 40 to 50 degrees. Detergent wash, 55 to 65 degrees. Rinse, 80 to 90 degrees. Two, check the feeders. Three, set out decoys for the tableware. Four, remove food scraps. Five, load the racks correctly. Six, 
cutlery into cutlery baskets, business end up and well mixed. 7. A manual rinse reduces the soil load. 8. Check the clean wear and store. Throughout the operation there are vital checks to be made regularly. Look at the detergent and rinse aid feeders. If the alarm is on, stop working and replace the empty container. Check the temperatures, make sure they are correct. When there's a lull in the action, open up and check the scrap trays. If they're filling with scraps, empty them out to waste. Filled scrap trays will prevent the pumps from working efficiently and dirty dishes will be the result. If the wash solution is very dirty, switch off the machine and refill with fresh water. At the end of the shift, follow the close down procedure. Switch off the machine, open the drain valves, open the doors and remove the scrap trays, empty them and scrub clean, remove the wash arms and clean them out, remove the curtains and scrub thoroughly, rinse and leave to air dry, hose out to the interior of the machine, pay particular attention to the hard to get at areas. These are behind the pipework, behind the doors, and the areas immediately next to the doors. Check the machine for scale and if it's building up contact your representative for recommendations. Leave the doors open so that air can circulate through the machine and the dishwashing machine is ready for the next shift. 1. Switch off 2. Drain down 3. Remove and clean the scrap trays, wash arms and curtains. 4. Clean the interior. 5. Check for scale. 6. Leave the doors open. Clean the outside of the machine, the tabling and the floor. Remember, there are some items we should not wash in a machine. Wear with real gold trim lead crystal glass, overglazed decorated dishes, fragile china or glassware, some types of plastic or wood. And if we are going to wash aluminium we must use a special detergent which is safe on this soft metal. It's attention to the detail of machine washing that delivers sparkling tableware, pleasing to the eye and safe to eat from. It takes professionals like us to deliver the quality results that bring the customers back again and again. <laughs>